What is up everybody, Garden City Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at NG Models August 2022 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off, we have two Air Europa 737-600s. The first one is registered Echo Charlie India November Golf, and it's in their normal Air Europa livery. And the other one is in their PepeCar.com livery, and is registered Echo Charlie India November Delta. The price of both of these is $46.99. Moving on, we have an Alaska 737-700 with the registration number 618 Alpha Sierra. This is in their new livery and costs $46.99. Moving on, we have an Alaska Air Cargo 737-700 Freighter. Registration is November 625 Alpha Sierra and the price is $46.99. Then we have a Norwegian.com 737-800 in their Freddie Mercury tail. Registration is Echo India Foxtrot Victor X-Ray. And the price of this is also $46.99. Then we have a slightly uh, higher priced 737-800. This one is Skymark's Pokemon livery. Uh, this is what it looks like. I can see why it costs more. It's probably going to cost more to produce this decal on the aircraft. Uh, the registration is Juliet Alpha 73 November Golf and costs $48.99. Moving on, we have another Skymark 737-800. This is in their normal livery, and is registered Julia Alpha 73 November Mike. Moving on, we have a Lion Air 737-900 ER, registered Papa Golf Lima Foxtrot Golf. No, Papa Kilo Lima Foxtrot Golf. Sorry about that, and this is in their Boeing livery, and the price of this is also $46.99. Then we have an Asia Pacific Airlines 757-200 PCF. Registration is number 757 Quebec Mike. And the price of this is also $46.99. Now, unlike Gemini, which severely up prices their aircrafts for the quality you get, I actually don't have a problem paying the higher prices uh, for Gemini or for NG models because of the fact that, well, NG models is, has a lot higher quality and has a higher quality standard than uh, Gemini. Anyway, moving on, we have three Lufthansa cargo aircrafts. All of them cost $59.99. The first one is just in the normal livery and it's registered Delta Alpha Lima Foxtrot Foxtrot. The next one is Delta Alpha Lima Foxtrot Golf and is in their flying 100% CO2 neutral sticker. And the final Lufthansa cargo 777F in this release is Delta Alpha Lima Foxtrot India and is in... What is this livery? It is in the Cargo Human Care sticker. So I think this has to do with something related to healthcare and tons of cargo transporting, obviously, medicines and stuff like that. But um, that's just what it looks like based on a sticker. Like I said before, the price of all three is 60 bucks. Moving on, we have one more 777F in this release. This is a CMA, CMA CGM Cargo uh, 777F registered Foxtrot Hotel... Hotel Mike Romeo Bravo, and this is what it looks like. Then we have a much anticipated model. Uh, NG did release, I believe, this way back when they were a small company. Back in 2019, I believe they released this, but uh, I, I don't know. I think they've released this before. Maybe I'm get confusing with Gemini, uh, but uh, this is number 13013 and is a United Blue Evo livery aircraft the price of this is 58 bucks i definitely do want to get that moving on we have a china southern a319 neo this one is the first one built in china apparently it has a sticker on it saying that but it's not visible in the clip out of the aircraft the registration on that one by the way is bravo 329 yankee then we have a normal china southern a319 with the modified iae engines uh, registration is bravo 6205 and the price on both of them is $46.99. Then we have two Edelfault aircraft. Both of them are $46.99. They're the same aircraft, but one is in the Bermudan registration before it's taken off. Uh, Victor Papa Bravo Romeo Golf. And the other one is in its Russian registration of Romeo Alpha 737-33. The price of both of these, like I said before, is $46.99. Then we have an American AC-21-200 that costs $46.99. This is in their uh, Flagship Valor, I think it's called. Yeah, Flagship Valor uh, with the registration number 167 uh, Alpha November. And the price of that one is obviously $46.99. Then we have two China Eastern AC-30 300s. The first one is completely normal with the registration Bravo 300 Quebec. And the other one is Bravo 6083. Uh, and this one has... Is this a Snickers sticker? 
that's actually pretty cool. Chinese Snickers. Yeah, that's that, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, this one's registered Bravo 6083. Then we have two Finair A315 900s. Uh, the first one is Oscar Hotel Lima Whiskey Echo. This is a normal uh, livery aircraft. And then we have one in their Marimekko Kivet livery, uh, which has Oscar y- Hotel. Oscar Hotel Lima Whiskey Lima. And this is what it looks like. And the price of the A350s are $58. Now this one, this one's actually really cool. I don't think any model company has released this before. This is a Air Corio TU-204-100. This is essentially North Korea's national airline. I do want to get this just because no other model company has released this. And it, it's pretty cool. Uh, registration is Papa 633. And the price of this TU-204 is $46.99. And then we have a Comac Express, uh, ARJ21700, registered Bravo 3322, and the price of that is $47. And the final model in this release is a Chinese Chinese People's Liberation Army, I believe it is, uh, Jean Y20, with registration 11157. And the price of that is $56, and it is in its low visibility livery, meaning that uh, it's painted in gray paint and doesn't really have a lot of decals uh, because those are make the plane more visible. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this release. There is a lot of 1 to 400 models. There's not even one 1 to 200 model that's been released. Uh, I really enjoy what NG's been doing lately, uh, coming out with all these new molds and just all these strange liveries that... Gemini doesn't really ever go to. I mean, have you ever seen Gemini release a CMA CGM cargo aircraft? Or have you ever seen Gemini release an Air Corio aircraft? So that's really why I like NG a lot more than Gemini, for the fact that they try things while Gemini just stays on its pedestal until it slowly falls because of its absolutely horrible quality control. But uh, if I had to get anything from this release, I would probably end up going for the Alaska 737-700, Maybe the United 78710 and the Air Corio TU-204. But uh, what are you getting for this release? Comment down below. And with that being said, that does conclude this video. If you liked the video, please consider liking, subscribing to my channel, and commenting down below. Anyways, that's all for me. Until next time, see ya.